the nerdy effect. Welcome to the nerdy effect is up affected welcome back to the nerdy effect and uh my voice is not improved whatsoever and a lot of people think that like i'm sick but i'm not i'm not sick it's just like stressed vocal cords from all the screaming and stuff that i did for those videos i swear i think <laughs> i don't know i literally sound like I am like deep inside of a cold, but I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all, but I either sound like I'm going through puberty. Do you hear that? You hear that deep down? I'm either going through puberty or, or I'm extremely sick. And I swear when I woke up Tuesday, I didn't feel great, but I felt okay. I don't know, but I haven't been talking much. I haven't been talking much. Keep drinking your tea with honey. Bobby Brady up in here. Where? Where? Where's Bobby Brady? Did you get a haircut? Yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to get some uh, tea and honey before I started the show, but I was already late starting the show, so I was like, yeah, we'll be all right. It's it's okay. It's 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 fine. It's it's fine. But thank you guys so much for stopping in, hanging out tonight. Dan Frode, of course. Uh, Shay Shy, Bell, Spock, uh, Robert Allen, and of course, uh, Dan Frode. Dan Frode, who's always here, contractually obligated to be here. Uh, Spock, hey, you never know, man. You might, you might continue winning, so I wouldn't cash it in. T plus honey helps clean the larynx. Hey, you're not allowed to say larynx on Twitch. That's one of them banned words, all right? Anyway, I don't, uh, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. I just don't know. Pondex! How you doing, sir? Um, no, I, I don't feel bad. I just sound bad. I sound like I... I either sound like I am, like, knocking on death's door, going through puberty, or just got out of a rock Allow concert. Allow myself to like... introduce myself. My name is Richie Cunningham. And this is my wife, Oprah. Or, Allie! I knew it was you. I knew it was you. Chilling before work. Uh, you know what? Sometimes you've got to do that. Sometimes you've just got to chillax before work. Uh, but Point Dex, it is great to see you. Uh, but yeah, hopefully everybody had a great Wednesday. Hump day is over. Hump day is completed. We are done with it. No more humps required this week. <laughs> it's not what I meant. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully as the night progresses... Maybe talking will clear some of this up because I haven't done a lot of talking either. Like, no, not your lovely lady humps, Robert Allen. No, no, no. But anyway, so hopefully as I talk, this will all get cleared up. All right, so what are we doing tonight? What is on the docket? 
Uh, saw the new Batman today. I've um, I've heard good things. I've heard a lot of good things about that movie, and that's what I said going into this. Like, I'm not gonna go see it in theaters. I'm just, I'm not a theater guy. I wasn't a theater guy to begin with, and now that COVID's out, I'm still not a theater guy. I'll just wait for it to come on TV. But um, I've heard really good things, and it's the kind of the same thing um, that I said originally that. You got to give it a shot, man. Ever since Heath Ledger became the Joker, became like the best version of the Joker in the history of ever. Like the dude who literally came from Brokeback Mountain to do the best Joker performance ever. Like going into comic book movies and stuff like that is always with a clear head, open mind because you never know what they're going to do. So uh, I don't like the new Batman and insist upon itself. You haven't even seen it, Robert. Don't even start with me. Larynx sounds like a li liar inks. True, true. Uh, Sam Nerdy, uh, it's got to be something special for me to go. Yeah, I mean, typically, like, even prior to COVID, it would have to be big-time Marvel movie or something like that. Like, I think, I'm trying to think, the last, the last movie I went and saw in theaters was um, the second Avengers movie, Endgame. That was the last one I saw, and prior to that was, um, dang, I, shoot, it wasn't even Spider-Man, I can't think of what it was, uh, I saw Cats, I saw Cats in theater, and then we saw another Marvel movie the same day, but I can't remember which one it was, anyway, Ledger is trash compared to Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill, no, I, I get, I get it, but there is a certain level of an actor having to perform and do the vocals, Versus just doing the vocals and having some dude draw. So you're talking like, yes, I, I love Mark Hamill as the Joker, but he is only the voice of the Joker. So there's a little bit more to it of being the physical presence and still being menacing. Because I never found the animated series uh, Joker to be menacing. I liked him. He was great. Mark Hamill does an incredible voice. But I never found him menacing. Now in the games, a little bit different. Cats is my least favorite musical. Like, movie or just musical in general? What's your favorite musical, by the way? <laughs> what a terrible movie to see in theaters. <laughs> How'd you know I never leave my house? Because you and me are the same, Robert. Uh, let see here. Ali says, yeah, it's really good watch for yourself. Um, and what I say, the best to see in cinema. Yeah, I agree. Uh, period. Hate that show. <clears throat> Wait, there's a show called Period? I don't know. Next big movie for me will be Doctor Strange if there's not any before that. Um, I thought there was another one coming out. I thought so. It would depend on the subgenre. Oh my god, you put your pinky up the whole time you were typing that? It would definitely be the subgenre. The subgenre of theater. Get out of here! <laughs> Phantom of the Opera, you basic bitch, Robert Allen. Right there. Right there. Basic bitch. Where's he at? Right there. Sorry, right there. Oh, my God. Hey, Blazed. How are you? Watch the recordings of Mark Hamill. No, I've seen it. I've seen what... I know what you're talking about, but I'm just saying, like, Mark Hamill is ranked in the Jokers, but, like, there is a physical presence on screen that you physically see that you don't get with Mark Hamill. I'm definitely a basic bitch. I own it. Ma'am, okay, I guess. Understandable, Blaze. I think we all are. Anybody seen the new Ghostbusters movie? It's on my list to watch. I've actually heard really good things about it, too. Even though I completely trashed it. Like, I trashed it, like, right before it released in theaters. And everybody's like, yeah, you're, you're probably right. And then people saw it, they're like, you're not even close. So, I'll back it off. Um, But I didn't see the Obi-Wan trailer, like, chills. Girl, Allie D, can I buy a comma? Uh, Dan, I have it on one of my streaming servers, but I haven't watched it yet. Is it, wait, is it free or you got to pay for it on streaming? Cause I know it's on like Amazon prime for like 20 bucks, but I don't know. Blaze, what's going on? So there's a couple things I want to talk about tonight. Not just Batman movies and stuff I haven't seen. Um, uh, but I will tell you, I will tell you my favorite theatrical performance, uh, my, my favorite go to the theater play, whatever it is. And uh, it's uh, it's Noises Off. That is my favorite one. I have seen it three times in theater. In, not the theater, in theater. I've seen it three times, and I absolutely love that. It's, it's not 
your technical theater. You know, it's not like Shakespearean actors and stuff like that. Um, but I absolutely love that. I think that it's so ingenious. If you've never heard of it, oh, on Voodoo, I got you. If you've never heard of it, basically it's a play within a play, and there's three different acts, and it is just fantastic. Ledger's good scenes all are all in the Suicide Squad bonus material. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, you looking forward to Obi-Wan? You damn sure I am, man. I love that Hayden Christensen is coming back. Everything has its price, Million Dollar Man. Hey, Blaze. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It is. What, what you're doing is you're watching, like when you're in the theater, okay, you're watching people rehearse for a play. And it's hilarious. It, it is like, by the end, the final act, act, I think I have three acts in this one. The final act is just absolute slapstick comedy and if it's not timed right then you miss the joke and it, it's 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 a fantastic thing they actually made a movie about it in the 80s well not a movie about it they made it into a movie in the 80s and the cast is is huge it's um christopher reeve john ritter uh michael Caine. i'm trying to think off the top of my head it's been a minute since i've seen it but i know those three are in it Hadestown is my current new musical. Classic theater musical would be Les Mis. Of course, there's another basic bitch up in here. Oh my God, I love Les Mis. Sarah Slay, when they sing that song about that thing. Oh God. Uh, Shakespearean would be Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh man, just... God, do, do, you, do you sip on your pumpkin spice latte and your Ugg boots uh, while, while you type that too with your pinky up, Shay Shay? <laughs> Uh, all my audition songs are for Les Mis. Audition songs for what? Mm. Closest thing to a play I've been is my mom went to J J Jersey Boys. I hate pumpkin spice. Oh, so um, I'm never going to get to my topic tonight. I swear to God, we're just going to talk all night. Um, I used to have to rehearse interviews in college for film editing. Uh, we all got to do it. Rehearsed? Rehearse interviews. Tell me more about that. Pumpkin Spice is a fat spice girl, right? Yeah. <laughs> Scary, baby, sporty, ginger, and pumpkin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yes is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh lady bells uh, i don't want to out lady bells because like everything she said is going to be erased from existence uh but she went to the dentist today um and i absolutely hate going to the dentist i think i'm gonna have to go to the dentist pretty soon myself um you know you can only put it off for so long um but anyway so she had to get um she had her her teeth capped right that's the right that's the right pronunciation um, just wear and tear over times. Uh, was Steve Martin, <laughs> was Steve Martin your dentist? <laughs> no, I did have a crazy ass dentist one time, but not this one. But anyway, so it brought up, it brought up my real life, um, teeth, I guess you'd say. Um, I actually have a chipped tooth right here. See it? Right there? A oh, chipped tooth. That tooth has been chipped since 1990. It's either 1993 or 1994, somewhere in there. It's been chipped that long, right? And so many dentists have been like, you know, I can fix that for you. I can just put a little kippy to cap right on top of that and boom, chocolate, there you go. And I have always refused and I always will refuse. Just, let's just get that crossed out, you know? Um, but yeah, I have always, uh, like, for a lo longer than, you know, memory should serve, you know what I mean? I've had this chipped tooth. It happened in a car wreck. And I just sort of keep it as a, just a reminder, not a memory, but just sort of like a, yeah, yeah, why don't you drive a little slower, dumbass, that kind of thing. And it, the, the wreck wasn't my fault or anybody's fault that was in the car with me. It was the other person, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I keep it for a reason. So when you say you've got a chipped tooth or whatever, I feel you. I've lived with, it, lived with it for, you know, almost 30 years. So anyway, sorry, a small little detail, but Lady Bells want to know you're not the only one out there. I don't want to alarm anybody, but Lady Bells has an Ewok running around her house knocking pillows off her couch. 
how did you get a hold of the Dan Frode cams? Uh, caps are spendy. Yeah, they are. Well, I mean, dude, I have, um, I have two. Hang on, hold on. I have three porcelain bowls in my mouth that don't have anything to do with my front teeth. So, game man, good to see you. Stupid asso, DMK. Great to see you guys popping in. Hopefully you're doing well. Measty up there, being all measty like, super duper measty like. Um. Uh, like you had to do up the shots and do a dummy interview before the real one. Interesting. That's interesting. Uh, Allie. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> I posted on Insta. Well, I haven't been on in a minute. I haven't been on in a minute. Uh, I straight up was getting my wisdom teeth out and I told the dentist, I don't like Dennis. And he was like, thanks. Oh no, I've told the dentist. I've told the dentist, the nurses, all them to their straight faces. I'm like, look, we're not friends. Okay. I'm only here because I have to be okay. We're not. We're not going to hang out afterwards. We're not going to exchange phone numbers. No, no. You fix this. Bye. Bitch, bye. So, yeah. What's going on, Dallas? How are you doing, man? What's on the um, What's on the menu tonight, Dallas? Please, tell us all about it, man. If you guys have not followed the Dallas Texan on Instagram, you need to. The dude is, like, I don't know, 6, 12, 14 star chef? I don't know. Whatever he posts... Just looks like I gotta have it in my mouth right now, okay? Uh, the same thing when he posted himself in those assless chaps. Same thing. I gotta have. <laughs> what if I told you your bicuspids were sexy? <laughs> uh, dentists are the most feared of all doctors. Well, yeah. Sandwiches tonight, super simple. Well, yeah, but are they cutting triangles? Are they cutting like uh, finger lengths? Like, tell me about your sandwich cutting. What's going on, JJ? How are you? With your little Kirby waving at you. <laughs> Good to see you, JJ. How's life treating you? How's streaming treating you, dude? Um, they always want to carry on a convo. Yeah, exactly, exactly. See, see, it's crazy, and everybody has to go to the dentist. It's one of those universal things, man. Doing pretty good, thanks. Glad to know you're well. Damn right. Two reasons I had to get them capped. Uh, I had to prevent infection because it was getting near my gums. And two, because the broken parts were sharp. They were biting to my lip every time I'd eat. Yeah, um, they, they finally grinded this one off a little, so it wasn't so razor sharp, but same deal. Everything's good. Glad to be here. Yeah, we're just sort of, uh, I wanted to talk about stuff, but we're kind of just half-assed chilling tonight. Um... How many carbs is in that sandwich? <laughs> Shit in your mouth. So how's your day going? Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Um, who cares? <laughs> uh, so much for prep. Oh, I know, dude. Well, no, it's not really necessarily prep. Okay, so I'll get to what I'm talking about. Chill stream. Haven't had one in a while. Well, I mean, I don't. I didn't. I didn't bring anything out. Okay, I don't have any items to show. We're not doing trading cards. Oh, I think we're gonna do trading cards on. Next Tuesday and Thursday, I think so. Because I, I need I need next Tuesday and Thursday to be... No, I can't, because next Thursday's uh, St. Patrick's Day. Somebody insert a cuss word for me. Um, all right. Guitar track. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, all right. So, my topic for tonight is uh, best of, right? I don't wear underwear. We're not starting that again tonight. We're not doing that tonight. Um, <laughs> thank you, Blaze. Thank you, Lady Bells. Smirkle. Yes, Smirkle's a perfect fit. <laughs> um, it's titled Best Of. Okay. So there is, I've talked about this before. There is an app that you can download. There's also an entire Twitch channel you can follow. It is called Hover. H-O-V-E-R. You can type it in to your Twitch bar check it out. It's called hover, right? Um, type it into whatever you have. Um, <clears throat> not OBS, um, but Android, Apple, they have it all hover, right? So what hover is, it's is basically, floater. it's not a floater. What it is, is basically like TikTok for streamers. You can post your clips on there and then other people can, other streamers can view them. And then you can sort of network in between and like, Hey man, I really like what this guy's doing. I want to see what he's all about. I want, you know, to chat with him and stuff like that. It's a great place. It really is. That's why like when we go to these, when we go to other streams, when we raid out, it's someplace we've never been. It's typically uh, roughly about 85% of people that I've met on hover. Cause I want 
to share it. I want to send you guys the people that I've seen their content and I want to see what they're all about. Well, last year, when I say that, it's like November, a November, December. says what? What? But uh, I think it was November. They did their next top streamer competition, right? Which is where you enter into this world of next top streamers. You submit a one minute video to them and then the entire committee of whoever it is, I think it's like five, six, ten people, whatever, they whittle it down, boom, 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 and they figure out who their top 32 are, and then they have a little like chat battle back and forth to see who will be the next top streamer. And it has been, because uh, I've seen it twice, um, I think it was season three, the first season, I don't know who won it, the second season, that dude has gone on to be Twitch partner, and now the one who won season three is now Twitch partner. So it's a very huge, beneficial thing. And I entered it last year, and I got top 32. Out of like 2,400 submissions, they chose me to be top 32. I didn't make it any further, um, but I made it pretty far. Well, now they're doing season four. Like Their seasons aren't yearly. Their season's like The Voice. As soon as they're done, they got to start a new one, you know? And that's great because what they're doing is they're building up their reputation, their community, while building up the smaller streamers on top of it. And it's a fantastic way to network with other streamers. Whereas like on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, I did it all for the Wanda's praise dust. You get buried by the algorithm. You literally get buried by the damn algorithm. If you are not one of the high top influencers or already somebody that's out there, you get buried. Believe me, I've been doing this longer than most people have even been able legal to drive. Like, that's a real thing. That's a real thing, okay? There are people who were watching my show when they were literally in junior high and now they're in college and I'm still streaming, okay? So... If that ain't a damn testament that some of this shit ain't working, boom, right here. I am that. Uh, Blaze, thank you so much for the 20 biddies, buddy. So anyway, um, yeah, it was pretty damn awesome. And I know why, because I did a lot of crazy stuff in that submission video. And so what I want to do is I want to show you guys my submission video from last year. And you guys have seen it. It's literally my channel trailer right now. But... I was in diapers when I started watching your stream, and I'm still in diapers. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to show you guys the trailer, right? And then I want your input on what we can do for the next one. Like, is there a time that you were watching? If you remember a clip, you remember something that I did, and I don't want to reuse footage. Believe me, I've got seven years worth of this stuff, 500 episodes of the show, plus all the other crap. Like, I've got plenty of content. I just don't know what would be beneficial to use. So, uh, <laughs> yep, started watching in junior high, damn you old. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's do it. Let me play this for you guys. Um, and then, like I said, just think about it. And again, it doesn't have to happen tonight. This can happen over time. I've got, I think, a couple weeks to figure it out. But anyway, so here's what we did. Uh, Next Top Streamer, Season 3. Hi, I'm the Nerdy Effect. I've been a streamer for seven years, and I love to entertain. Hi, folks. I'm so glad you could join me today. Welcome to the joy of nerding. I'm just going to stand here for 15 minutes and let you bask in my glory. Uh, V-Twin. It's true, V-Twin. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Pee-Wee's Playhouse. Isn't that right, Cherry? We have now put up our Festivus pole. And it is aluminum. <laughs> They will never stop the Batman! <laughs> what you gonna do when the pumpkin man runs wild on you? You're about to experience the madness! <clears throat> so there you go. I know where I went wrong with a couple of them because I was sort of, I'm, I'm in the mindset of making trailers which are overlaid with music, like my intro video is overlaid with music, so you're visually seeing it where there was a couple of dead spots in that one. Like when I had the Millennium Falcon on my back, it was a dead spot. When I'm dancing as the dude, there's a dead spot. Uh, well, see, here, here's the thing. What's the length? One minute. That's it. I only got a minute to get it done. 
So um, where, do, where does Fishstick lie? It's the fact of is Fishstick is an old character that I don't do very often. I mean, it's beyond rare that I even bring out Fishstick or even other, any of the other original characters. Like, I don't, I don't use them anymore because I have other things to do. Whereas I feel like back in the day, those were sort of like filler things. Like we'd have a little fun because I was literally packing in the hours of it. Whereas now I need to get my, I need to get the stuff shown. I need to get the job done. Like there's not a lot of time to just sort of like mess around with characters. And I don't think that showing a Kyle or a Jerry or any of those is actually going to do benefit for people watching the trailer. It needs to be high impact stuff. That's not that. Now, I do have the Frog Splash that I did as AJ Styles. I still have that one in the ba in the bucket to do. I still have the deodorant to eat, but the problem is I don't know if that's going to be impactful for someone who's never seen the show to put on there. Now, the, the Frog Splash, we can do that all day, but I don't know. No Ecto-1 building. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. We're, we're trying to... We're trying to grab the audience's attention as fast as absolutely possible with the biggest impact. Like the funny stuff, all that kind of, like, whatever's quick and in a hurry will get the joke across quick. It can't be something long-winded like the Rabina. Like, the Rabina is literally like a five-minute clip. Like, it's funny. When you get to the end of it, it's hilarious. But you gotta be on it. Dennis, great to see you. The pacing was... Um, Plotted, the Falcon seemed a better clip for me. Plotted? What do you mean, plotted? <laughs> Wear the Iron Man mask. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to create clips for this. No, 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 no. Yeah, stick with cosplays. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But again, uh, jump through the crypt. That was not on there. That is a good one. That one's actually on my hover account. But tossing that in there would help. My personal thing is I wish that I had multiple angles of when I did that. And the problem is I don't even have that Christmas tree. I literally had to throw it away. So I can't even like recreate it at a different thing. Wrestling R. Skelly moments. Again, it, that's one of those things like it takes too much to set up what's going on with it. Like if it's me falling down with a skeleton, they're like, what the hell is that? Before it like w with one minute, there's not enough time for explanations. Like if somebody pops in Hey, good to see you. I wrestle a skeleton for funds. Cool. But when you're showing it to somebody, it happens too quick for it to really matter. I, I appreciate it. And you got I'm not I'm not saying you guys are wrong. I'm just trying to explain why I'm having a hard trouble doing this. Uh look, if you had one shot, one opportunity, I know. That may have been my only shot, but I think I'll try it one more time. Um so what do you think of Hank Trill? That was absolutely hilarious, by the way, dude. Um, yeah, I, I think the cosplays is probably where I'm going to stick it at. But what's interesting is um, what's interesting is that there are people who um, literally think that's all I do is cosplay. <laughs> that's something they mentioned when they were reviewing my video in the big in the in the on the, on the actual Twitch channel. They go. He, he must have, he must work for like a costume warehouse or something. And I'm like, no, <laughs> did you film yourself hiding the dildo? I would never film myself doing that. You have to find it. It's the where's dildo of the nerdy effect. Uh, <laughs> did you buy a GoPro or two? Nah. Uh, seemed like there's a balance you need to grab onto. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to worry about. Now, granted, it's gotta be boom, 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 back to back. And I, I know that there was dead space at my original one. <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong, and I'm explaining why I'm right. I'm just saying, like, is there something wrong with my explanation? You, you can't explain a skeleton in a sentence. Cross-dressing clip might help. Um, uh, don't use any wrestling. No, I wouldn't use any of the wrestling anyway. Uh, maybe saying something about SCW uh, could help them realize where they're going. Yeah, I, I wouldn't use wrestling. It's too much to explain, and I, I don't really want to be... That's the thing about it is I don't want to be typecast as a gamer. I, I'm not a gamer. I, I'm not. I like games. I like video games, but I'm not a gamer. And the wrestling stuff is all simulated, so I'm technically not. Uh, my son just fake golfed at me when you laughed. Good, good, good. Dang, thought I was sneaking in. You're never going to find that dildo, JJ. You're never going to find it. Uh, dildo's in your butt. Hey, hey, don't be giving away my secrets. <laughs> Put a clip of the Fable cosplay. Um, maybe I, I think the Christmas tree is the best one uh, I can definitely toss that in there 
If you're gonna do some high-end stunts, get a GoPro. I don't want to do stunts. Stunts hurt. <laughs> what? You're not a gamer. You're the king of Fortnite. No, I am the king of Fortnite, but I don't I don't stream that. Um do a quick uh clip pan of the shelf. Well, I mean, this is this is big enough. You know what I mean? Like me going across that is just my TikTok videos. By the way, you should follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Uh, sent my notes that I did real quick. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely the Christmas, def definitely the AJ. But that's why I asked you guys, maybe there's something that I had forgotten that you remember a good time. Like, literally, Robert Allen Baker was the name of the washer-dryer combo. <laughs> so, like, that had to be in there. And that was, that was a big laugh. Like, the, the audience liked that, the host liked that. That was funny. But again, I can't reuse it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> jokative asmr moments well i told you guys why i stopped that right why i stopped doing asm like the legit well semi-legit asmr because the asmr community actually got mad at me when i was doing like the smack and the sausage with the cheese and stuff like that they legit got mad at me for it so when I do the, the stuff now where I just sort of breathe heavy in the mic, that's satire. But actually dedicating an entire show to ASMR in the ASMR category? Nope. Nope. Uh, do Ferris Bueller ending a, a clip in there? Yeah, that's actually a good idea because I did do the Ferris Bueller. thought that was a funny... Those bitches! <laughs> yeah, we all love those washers. Yeah, the washer scene was great. It really was. The hell is that? Don't lose the wrestling you have. Jimmy Hart, Pumpkin Mania, uh, Turkey Madness. <laughs> no, I've, I've got to change it. I can't use the same clips. I cannot use the same clips. Again, I've got too much. Uh, me trying to convince chicks. Well, that isn't big enough. <laughs> yeah, I think Ferris Bueller might be a good ending. Go home. It's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I did do that. Those shit can suck on plastic ears. You can slap some meat on some cheese. I know. I know. Well, this was a couple years ago. This was like 2019, 2018 when I did that. Uh, but now now they're literally deep throating ears and stuff. So it, it may be a different dynamic. Blue Pants is a good one. But the problem is that the video quality on that sucks. So I'll look into it. <clears throat> um, I'll look into Blue Pants. That, that's a, that is a good one. The Steve Irwin... Uh, See, the thing about the Steve Irwin is, is there's not a great, like, sentence of it, unless, except it's me just jumping in going crikey. And I don't know if that's enough. Yes, he's a universal figure, and you're not wrong. I'm going to write it down, but I don't know. But, yeah, I, I think I think Blue Pants, if I can get a good clip of it. Because that was back in the uh, PlayStation camera days, and that was not good quality stuff. It's, it's Like, nothing like all this high definition, and then it clips to this blurry dude... With a flamethrower. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't, that one. That one's. That one's a hard maybe. You're trying not to laugh. <laughs> um, that's funny. I actually have that as an ending clip for one of my stream overlays. Wait, what? 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 Put Steve in the beginning. Oh no! Yeah, when I smacked the sausage and it made that, like. It was hard, but wet sound. Oh, yeah. No, I almost, I, I literally almost cried. <clears throat> PS Playroom wasn't 4K. Well, color me surprised. Well, I'm just saying, I never thought, like, doing doing the earlier stuff, I never thought that I would ever actually upgrade to a legit camera. Like, ever. The Ferris Bueller ending. I have that as an ending scene. Oh, oh, for one of your overlays. I got you. I was like, you have me as one of your overlays? Wow. Slack loaf and scrambled um, scrambled axe moments. I think maybe slack loaf because that's an original character. You, when when you say axe, are you talking about like you talking about Vlad Hillel? He need, need looking for my X. <laughs> when I saw the returning of one person from the dead, and at the end, look at. What? What are you talking about? X. It was an X. Okay, it was not an egg. It was an X. But again, I don't know. See, that one's that one's a little different because that's one of my personal characters. And I don't know if people would even get that. You know what I mean? 
a TikTok. I'm so lost. DMK, stop starting in the middle of your conversations. Um, so do you buy those little bottles of liquid and then they just have a hint of whatever it is you're drinking? <clears throat> so I'm, this is not a product endorsement. So this is hint water and there's nothing in it. There's literally nothing in it. It's, it's, it's water that has natural fruit in it. Um, for the flavoring. So there's no artificial sweeteners, no sugars, nothing like that. So this is, um, sparkling peach and it doesn't taste, it doesn't taste amazing, but it's basically like good for you flavored water. Does that make any sense? You want me to scramble you some eggs? <laughs> yes, please. Um, Steve Irwin might be a sore spot for some people. Understandable, but it's been long enough and there's a lot of people that have cosplayed him. So I get it, but it's still something that we did. I mean, I, dude, I did, my starter was Bob Ross and Bob Ross is on Twitch. So I don't know. It barely has a taste. It, it, it barely does have a taste. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to keep the sparkly bubbles in the back of my throat, but yeah, that's something I'm going to be working on. Um, Bob Ross is a really good starter, right? But I already used it. That's the problem is I use my good stuff to start with. I could put I could pick eggs, but chickens don't dig it. Uh, Killer Cutie, how are you? Good to see you. Um, yeah, I thought I I thought I did a strong starter. I mean, literally, elbow dropped to the table, bleeding. You know, the watermelon one was pretty good. Wait, watermelon what? What is he talking about? What is he talking about? Watermelon one. I was going to say Bob Ross. Yeah, but again, I don't... Oh, the watermelon hint. Gotcha. But yeah, I don't want to reuse any clips because, like, dude, me jumping onto the damn table is... Uh, does anybody else do that on Twitch? Has anybody else ever done that on Twitch that wasn't drunk? Got to put that in there just in case. Like, that was my big ender. That, ah, you know, that was my big end. But I can't do that again because it's just me reusing the stuff. And again, I've been doing this way too long for me to reuse clips for one minute. Now, if we're doing like an hour show, okay, maybe. But one minute, I can find a minute of stuff. Hint Water was made for... Head codes that was useful to the game. What? Christmas tree at the end. I think that might be a good one. I, th I think I think that might be a great ender. Uh, I know where you can borrow some TK armor. <laughs> Yeah, instead of instead of me jumping through the table, I jump into the Christmas tree. Yeah, I wish that had different angles on it. I wish I had like an above camera so you could see like the downward impact when it fell on me. Because literally, when I jumped into it, that thing rolled. Um, uh, Gallagher proposed Sledgematic if you want to do it. No, no, I'm going to do it. Gallagher's going to happen, but I got to wait till his birthday, which is in July, June, July, or August. So I got to wait. I want to do it for his birthday. So I guess I could do it to. to you know, Monday, but I don't want to. What about the Robert Ross, Bob Ross, but super classy version? <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, I've thought about this. You guys aren't tossing stuff out there that I haven't thought about. I've thought about the R. Skelly stuff, and then I'm like, eh, they probably wouldn't understand it. And then I've thought about, like, the old character. Like, Fishstick is a prominent thing in this show, but it's a personal character. You know, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Could you pre-film some of the Gallagher? I could, but I, do, I wouldn't want to. See, that, I don't know, man. I think that feels disingenuous. You know what I mean? It feels disingenuous to film something specifically for that. Like, I, it, it's whatever you want. Like, there's not stipulations in this. But I'm trying to show off my stream, you know? I'm trying to show off what I have done. And I think that, you know, going out to your backyard and filming you climbing a tree or something, hanging out and be like, woo, that's not my stream. My stream is this, you know? So I, I think that doing something beforehand, that's just my personal opinion. It's just my personal opinion is just a little bit odd. I don't know. Side sheep or space goats could be a fun audition. The space goats, maybe, because there was some fun stuff in that. There was, um, oh, you know what would be good? The Hello Kitty Gundam with the Doc Brown head would be hilarious. I just thought about that. Uh, but yeah, this the um, Space Goats. I'll put Space Goats in there. 
um, maybe make it the intro for the Gallagher show and just use a bit of that. Maybe. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. What about just submitting your intro? That's what I submitted. That's uh, that's that's li- that's literally what I submitted last time. You're talking about my intro to this show. It's too long, and and I don't know. Uh, it, it's it's only a minute. You know what I mean? And I just don't know if putting the music to it. It's a good idea, Stu. I'm not saying it's not a good idea. I don't know. Hmm. But I think that I think that if somebody's gonna watch a trailer, they about a streamer, they would want to hear what the streamer is doing. You know what I mean? That was in my notes for the intro. I will check it out. I, I don't want to. I don't want to like jump into it right now. But I'll definitely check it out later. Because again, none of this is final. I'm just chatting. Uh, speaking of TV shows, I actually caught an episode of the new animated version of Master of the Universe. Swear to God, the first was in my mouth. Where I, really is it that bad? It's on my list of things to watch. I just haven't got to it yet. Would it make Robert Allen Baker roll over? But Stu, you're not wrong with putting the music to it, doing the the Freddy's Ready intro. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but is that an actual, like, I don't know. Is that too odd? Does that make sense? Is it too odd to play the theme song? That That's a, that's a literally, in like, general question for everybody. Uh, the CGI one where they're young kids. Oh, no, God, no, not that one. No, no, no. I was, I was talking about the Kevin Smith one, not that weird one that stupid asshole bought all the toys for. Gross. Um, this is a good discussion. Well, that's why I wanted to bring it up. That's why I literally wanted to talk about this tonight. Um, I think the same song would help a little. Maybe the maybe in the, like, low in the background, maybe. Especially since it's original. True, true, it is. They made Skeletor his uncle. Are you serious? Freddy's intro sums up your show in a nutshell. It does. It, it really does. Um, lower in the background. That's not a... Like I said, it's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea to put that in there. The song would be good to have. Okay. Like I said, that's something I, I originally tossed up, but I didn't know if if that would just be too much, if people wouldn't understand the lyrics and all that kind of stuff. But as a lot of people say, it's catchy as hell. It's like they like the song a lot because it's it's catchy. What's going on, Joker? How are you doing, sir? What are you doing tonight? What are you doing? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Um, maybe ask Freddie to update your song for a minute. It's it's updated. It's it's legitimately updated. Um, the song represents a level of professionalism. Pro- pro- professionalism. I can't even speak that word. <clears throat> no, I, I agree. I, I do agree, and that's that's why it literally like my brain stopped turning when I read it. I was like, might work, but I don't know if I want to do it loud or if I want to do it because if I do it loud, I could do it like my intro, where we're just hitting clip after clip. But if we do it low, then you can kind of hear what I'm saying in between the clip. But I don't know if that takes away from the music. You know what I mean? Hurricanes Cape. Good to see you. I think he means cut it into a minute. You know I do all my editing, right? You, you know that. I'm, this this just goes out to everybody out there, all the naysayers. You know I built that intro. Okay, okay. Just let you just let you know I built that intro. Okay. <laughs> I just can't make music. I've got no rhythm. I'm. I'm I'm completely I'm I'm white boy inside and out like I can't even grow a full beard like no rhythm but I can edit like a motherfucker <laughs> I can cut the music down I can fix the music chilling in bed watching you two Hakashudo boy that is that is definitely not something a biker should be doing on a Thursday night I'm just putting that out there I'm just putting that out there man okay <laughs> Do it low. I'm going to write that down. Low intro. I mean, here's the thing. Like, there ain't no damn spoilers with this. We can workshop this live. You know, I can build both of them, and then you guys can figure out which one you like the best before I submit it. So it's not like I got to keep this all in secrecy. 
My intro is Stephen Colbert with my face on his body flipping off the camera. <laughs> low, 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 low. True, true. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's ideas to think about. Again, if there was a certain, like, ridiculously funny thing that you guys remember from back in the day or last week or whenever, we can see if it'll toss in there and work. Um, I've got I've got way too much stuff out there for it to be solidified and new stuff I've already used. It's anime, and I'm a biker, but a nerd. <laughs> yes, you are, you freaking nerd. You gotta hack it. I can't. My my voice is all destroyed right now, Hurricane. I can't even get the Hank Hill. We're gonna have to put uh, we're gonna put Stu Padasso on Hank Hill duty from now on. Stu, give me your best Hank Hill right meow. I'll wait. That was pretty good. That was pretty damn good. Hell yeah. Uh, which season was the ASMR? I want to rewatch it. That was seven point oh. Because that was 2019. No? 6.0. 6.0. I missed the voting brawls. DMK, you're going to have to get over it, bro. You're going to have to get over it. That, that, we're, we're talking, that's been five years ago, bro. You're, you're just going to have to let it go. It's okay. Just have to let it go. I'll be doing my biker shit this weekend in Daytona. What's going on in Daytona? Damn it, Bobby. <laughs> it's all that hint of water. <laughs> No ASMR. No ASMR. Yes, ASMR. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it was 6.0. Because, like I said, I'll do it. I'll do it just for fun. You know, typically when, like, Kane's toothbrush is here. I mean, sorry. Hurricane. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's take it down low for some ASMR. And now that my voice is destroyed, it's got that extra echo. That echo that echo oh yeah what you think about that hurricanes cape what you think about the low voice maybe you're about to crawl into the covers maybe you're gonna snuggle down deep into your bed blaze brian might be there too you never know it's a slumber party oh <laughs> However, the earbuds come out, and I'm waiting for you to back away from the mic. Respectfully. Uh, <laughs> throws pants at TV. <laughs> Wait, so we lost Kane for a hurricane? We lost Kane to a hurricane is what we did. OMG. Um, <laughs> they definitely don't put that in there for sure. You don't know. You don't know, Blaze. You don't know what's down for it. You have no idea. You have no idea. But anyway, it's it's very it's a stiff ass competition. Like it really is. Like and and every year, every single year, it gets harder and harder to do anything because their momentum is just getting bigger and bigger. More people are joining. Better streamers are joining. Better people with editing skills are joining. And the biggest thing, and this isn't this isn't at anybody. This is just literally how it is. The people in the chat are the ones who vote, right? That's the thing. And if they have a huge, giant community, if they have, you know, 5,000, 10,000 followers, they're obviously going to win over my small stream, okay? I've only got 1,800 followers, you know? So my stream is already at a disadvantage towards this because you're going up against people with 5, 10, 20,000 viewers because it's not limited. Unfortunately, it's not limited to just non-partners. Like, if you're a Twitch partner, you can still compete into this. So, we're small but strong. Yes, you are. I'm not, I'm not, that's not a slack at all. But, but if you put 5,000 of this one streamer versus 2,000 of us, the numbers have it. That's just, that's just math. You know, I don't like math either. Nerdy, get more followers. I said, please. <laughs> so that's why I don't wear that's underwear. That's why the, uh, I'll put that in there, but that's why, that's why the submission video has to be a bigger caliber. That way those 5,000 get washed out by the rest of the people that are watching. 
and they're just like, damn, we gotta vote for that dude because he's really insane. Uh -huh. No! <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, uh, a Samungo Gold of 50... What? <laughs> the hell? DMK, can I buy a comma? Mies, thank you so much for the biddies. Dennis, uh, Daytona Bike Week. I saw... I, I meant to get back to you, Joker. I'm sorry. I saw that. So is that... Are you just meeting up? You're gonna do some racing? What do you do when you get there? No, I don't wear underwear. <laughs> Wash it out with the Sprite Cran. Yes. Wildcat. Yes, Wildcat is here. Um, so yeah, that that's why I'm so like... like just hard on myself with this. Like last year there was, I think he said there was 2,400 submissions and I got top 32, right? But this year there's going to be way more submissions than that, right? And even people who have entered before are going to enter again with all that knowledge of what they entered with last year. So it's going to be even a harder competition. That's why my brain is getting like so overwhelmed with trying to figure out what clips I want to use to just showcase the nerdy effect so that's why that's why i really wanted to, to spin it towards you guys my club has a chapter there and it's a big party that's awesome that's awesome i can't wait to see the pictures dude well what pictures you can post uh hey Stu, have you gotten any toys in today <laughs> boo mass i understand i understand um but yeah that's that's why it's got to be that's why the submission video has got to be just that much higher you know it just does uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you do. It, it's Hover on Twitch, just H-O-V-E-R. It's on Twitch. It's pretty damn cool. And they do like, I think they do three shows a week. It's it's giveaways and stuff like that. And you can find other streamers that are out there that maybe don't fall into the categories you typically search under. Like maybe you like 8-Bit Gaming and whenever you search 8-Bit Gaming, there's never anybody there that suits your fancy. Maybe they'll show a clip of somebody who does the 8-bit gaming and then you're like, oh, well, I got to check them out. It's it's a great networking tool. It's a wonderful networking tool. So even if the next top streamer doesn't work and it won't, I, I can't win it. There's no way I can win it. But like just getting submitted is the big thing. But just getting in there automatically gets you on the, hey, let's check out this guy. Oh, his video is there. That's pretty cool to watch. That kind of thing. So it's a great platform for other people to see this content so anyway that's why I sh that's why i want to workshop with you guys there are no toys only collectibles oh ho, 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 ho. you know i got you damn right joker uh so i found out that i used to live next door to the top latin king family um they call the lady queen wanda and i used to hang out with her son is that a um is that a band what is that you're gonna have to tell me more about that blaze why would anyone smoke weed when they can just mow the lawn? You damn dad joke. Well, I guess Kane could not, <laughs> could not stomach losing to the ref each week that he had to rebrand himself to remove the smell of losing to the ref. Oh, it's a game. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, that is a Hank Hill quote. Wait, what? <laughs> There are no toys. There are only collectibles. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but yeah, this, this takes this the, the the whole thing will take a minute. So again, maybe you guys are uh, laying in bed late at night, and like, oh yeah, remember that funny time? Or maybe you're on the toilet, you know, just staring at a a back of a a shampoo bottle, trying to read the ingredients. You know, oh, it's got toluene in it. Cool. Maybe if something will pop in your head, you can just message me, say, hey, what about this clip? Maybe we can build something pretty damn awesome. Dan's not mine. No, 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 it's it's yours. Um, <laughs> I've been a king since I was 13 years old. Oh, watch out now. Watch out now. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, it's just out there. And once I start building it, I will show it to you guys and we'll start talking about it. If you guys think something's a little lacking or maybe needs to change to a different clip, we can do that. Um Again, I don't want to reuse anything, and I saw my flaws in my original one. Too many quiets. There's too many quiets. It looked cool. It's visually cool, but your eyes instantly turn away, even in that minute of like, oh, okay, well, the 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 volume stopped. Okay, it's cool, but the volume stopped. It's not. It's got to be on it. <clears throat> Who reads bathroom products? We have smart devices. I'm just, maybe you forgot it. Maybe you left it in the other room. It's charging or something, you know? I don't know. I don't know what you do in your spare time. I don't have Dan Frode cameras. <laughs> I wish I did. 
Wish I damn sure did. All right. But anyway, I um, appreciate you guys sitting and listening to my TED Talk tonight. I, I truly don't have anything on hand uh, to show you. Hey, Stu, did I tell you the actors from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were going to be in Columbus? What? Like the, uh, the original um, bodysuit guys? One of those dudes, one of the original bodysuit guys from the Ninja Turtle movie, he will like my Ninja Turtle post on Instagram. I don't know if this dude has like a, a flag that anytime somebody mentions TMNT or something, it pops up and he has to go and like it. But when I, when I post my TMNT stuff, he will like it. And I'm like, whoa, we don't even follow each other. He'll just like it. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. The original Leonardo, whatever his name is. I couldn't even tell you. Uh, so it might be that guy again. Um, anyway, so the 954. Um, I'm in Central Florida as well. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <clears throat> the the seven three oh oh uh, sorry the seven two seven I don't uh, those are those area codes what are those <laughs> I don't know what those are these guys just throwing out numbers Florida hookups ah gotcha I like that I lived in the seven two seven oh now we're getting somewhere look at this look at this all the all the Floridians are coming together now. They're going to form this crazy Voltron. <laughs> hey, look, it's Stu and then the Stu. Um, all right. So we do have some SCW wrestling to get to tonight. I, I actually ended up surprisingly covering what I wanted to cover tonight. Um, I was in NPR, News Public Radio. Okay, cool. I'll be passing through that this weekend. Joker's going to rev the engine on your behalf. Where's Metal? She needs to get on in this. Wait, what? Florida man merges with Florida man. <laughs> oh, Meesty. Meesty cashing in. I like it. I like it. Dude, and you waited a long time. You waited an hour into this show to do that. So bravo to you, sir. Seriously. Super bravo to you. All right. Um, Rob Paulson, Raphael, um, Townsend Coleman, Cam Clark. It must be Cam Clark. It must be that dude. Uh, I know it's Leonardo, but yeah. So Rob Paulson, though, he's the voice. Rob Paulson's the voice. Those aren't those aren't the actual actors in the suits. Those are the voices. Because Rob Paulson is um, Pinky. From Pinky and the Brain, he's a he's a huge voice actor. Yas, pretty sure, pretty sure. Want to make sure we were doing SCW. I don't like cash in was not the subject. No Tuesdays and Thursdays, always Tuesdays and Thursdays, unless otherwise specified. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no, you did it right, Meese. You did it right. I was in Port Ritchie and he moved like ten minutes away. What? Back, welcome back, Lady Bells. You missed it all. You missed it all. Can you uh can you believe? Can you believe that literally Stu Pedasso marched through this room shirtless while you were gone? It's crazy. They're gonna have Eric Estrada and Larry Wilcox. Dirk Benedict. <laughs> Cyber Tiger, you know how I know you're old? <laughs> yeah, um Corey Feldman was the voice of Donatello. Keith David. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Keep keep digging your old hole right there, Cyber. Just just keep keep digging it in there. Rob Paulson was a huge voice actor. World, yeah, 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 yeah. That, I I thought that voice. I thought that name sounded familiar. He's the voice of uh, Pinky. Uh, when you look at the dark side, careful you must be, for the dark side looks back. Tom Berenger, keep going, keep going. Put Tom Wolpat in there. We've got ourselves a damn seventy sandwich. Come on. <laughs> Come on, who, who else you got? Who else you got, Tiger? Come on, come on, who else you got? Kevin McCon? No, <laughs> just to name a few. Okay, just, just a little bit of name dropping right there. <laughs> Sounds like a hairy sandwich. Yeah, it's nothing but dudes, man. It's like this show. We we've got 
We've got, wait, is Killer Cutie still here? We've got three. We've got three females in here tonight, and the rest is nothing but sausage fest. Oh, Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King of Memphis Wrestling. Back in the 70s. <laughs> uh, I used to call him Buddy Tom Wopat because he had a jean jacket with a corduroy collar. Don't make me show my age. Oh, that's okay. Cyber Tiger's doing it for you. Uh, no, they have the girl from Wayne's World. Oh, what the hell is her name? I know she's Cassandra, Cassandra, but I cannot remember her name. Tori. That's not right. What is her name? Prez Durst, Say thank hallelujah. you. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Caicia. Hallelujah. Wait, Say what happened? Car Say uh, Tia Carrera. Say hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. I was close. I was super close, okay? Talk about rattling the noggin, all right? Uh, but yeah, so as me so eloquently put it, we're going to do some SCW wrestling tonight. Um, it is uh, it is Blitz Takedown. We're going to get back into the action. Of course, no Tuesday Night Turbo this week. We're, that we get, that got moved to next week. It's fine and dandy. Um, Sean Patrick Flannery. <laughs> well, well, Tiger pulled that one out quick. Spank, bang. <laughs> So let's get to it. Let, let's let's shut this blank down tonight. Insert whatever word you feel happy about. Um, and let's get into SCW wrestling because I don't know how much longer my voice is going to last. So uh, let's, uh, let's roll it out of here. Again, you guys do not have to go anywhere. Just hang out. Don't click the button. Just stay right there. We will fold into the next format of what we're going to do. I'm going to give you guys a nerd circle from me to you. Three, two, one, boom. Let's have ourselves a good damn rest of the night. Bye-bye. Nerdy effect. It's the nerdy effect. Nine point. Oh. Oh 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 oh. It's the boobook. 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 It's the nerdy effect. It's the boobook. It's the boobook. No, no, no. 8.0. Oh, no, no. 8.0. Oh. 7.0. 6.0, y'all. 4.0. 7.0. 8.0. effect. Knock the dose, knock the dose. Hey, do you like jokes? Nine. Do you like toys? Nine. Do you like wrestling? Nine. But it's the nerdy effect. Nine point oh. Nine point oh. A. Jesse.